Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing pie chart data interpretation. First of all, we need to read the information carefully and then we need to solve the questions according to the information. First of all, uh, read the information carefully. The following pie charts show the shows the distribution of international tourist traffic uh, from India in 2009. Here, it is very clear that the information which is provided in the given pie charts that is uh, related to distribution of international tourist traffic from India in 2009. In 2009, uh, international tourist traffic, uh, USA, Japan, UK and uh, other countries. Uh, here, three countries names are given and uh, one more that is others. One more is belongs to others. Uh, so, from other countries, that is 15 percentage. UK is 5 percentage. USA, 45 percentage. Japan is uh, 35 percentage, right? And uh, here the first pie chart shows the country-wise distribution. Here the first pie chart is about country-wise. USA, UK, Japan and other countries. Whereas the second pie chart shows the age-wise distribution of tourists. Second pie chart is showing about age-wise distribution. Here we have a total four categories. One is below 30 years. Second one, 30 years to less than 40 years. Third one, 40 years to 50 years. And the fourth one, above 50 years. Above 50 years. These are the four different age groups. That is the information. One is below, less than 30. One is 30 to 40 not including this one you have to exclude this one and after that 40 to 50 40 to 50 and after that greater than 50 these are the four different uh, age groups uh, age groups wise distribution is also given and uh, there is a one small information regarding this pie chart uh, there is one note point is given this important point uh, this point is very important you must read here, the percentage distribution in chart 2 in this second chart is applicable. Percentage distribution of chart 2 is applicable for every country in chart 1. Whatever the country is given in chart 1, whereas uh, in chart 2, the age-wise distribution is also applicable for country-wise. So, Whatever the information which is provided in chart 2 that is applicable for chart 1 for each and every country. That is the important point. And uh, total number of tourists that also given. Total number of tourists are uh, 200,000. 200,000. So, this is the complete information based on this. Based on this we need to solve the problems. Based on this, we need to solve the problems. Once look at the first question. Find the ratio of, find the ratio of number of tourists who went to USA. First, uh, I will take total value. I will take total value 200,000 into USA. USA is how much percentage? 45 percentage. USA 45 percentage. We should not take total 45 percentage and uh, who were above 50 years. Who were above 50 years. Above 50 years, how much percentage? Again, 45 percentage. In this, again, 45 percentage. This is about first value. This is about first value. And uh, second value. Second value. And those who went to Japan, here 200 is the total. Japan is how much percentage? 35 percentage, right? 35 percentage into, and uh, one more sentence, who were between 40 and 50 years old. Between 40 and 50, that is third category. 40 and 50, how much percentage it is? Uh, 
12 percentage that is 12 percentage now if you observe carefully 200 by 100 by 100 200 by 100 by 100 these are the common values that you can cancel here five nines are five seven times and next three fifteens three four times three fifteens three four times now you can multiply these two 15 nines are 135 is to 7 fours 28 therefore the required ratio is 135 is to 28 once check it out the option see option a 135 is to 28 that is the required answer for this question option a is the right answer let us look at the second question same information uh, don't confuse and uh, uh, don't forget the information once you understand the information don't look back again now if you look at this information if the pie chart distribution pie chart distribution remain unchanged in 2010 here the complete information as of now it is about 2009 but now he is talking about 2010 in 2010 pie chart distribution is same pie chart distribution in the sense chart 1 diagram and percentage chart 2 diagram and percentage both are same but the total number of tourists going abroad the total number of tourists going abroad that year was 300,000 in 2009 this value given as 200,000 but in 2010 that value was 300,000 there is no change in pie charts only the change is number of tourists who are going to abroad in 2010 that is 300,000 now the question what he is asking is how many of them how many of them were below 30 years of age who went to Japan in that year we want the answer in terms of thousands only total in 2010 in 2010 total value total value 300,000 we are not changing as we want the value in terms of thousand I am not writing three zeros at the end of that 300 so you just keep it like that only and now in this what do you want exactly below 30 years of age below 30 years below 30 years how much percentage 25 percentage 25 percentage and after that who went to japan japan is how much percentage 35 percentage japan is 35 percentage this is your answer this is your answer here two zeros and two zeros both are cancelled and next 25 four times now you can calculate this one 35 into 3 that is 105 105 divided by 4 105 divided by 4 thousand that is our answer 105 divided by 4 calculate this value 4 2 sir 4 2 sir 8 still uh, 2 is left over 25 25 means uh, 6 times uh, 25 means uh, 6 times uh, and next uh, still 1 is left over again uh, 10 10 means uh, 2 times and next after the 20 20 means 5 times 26.25 thousand 26.25 thousand this is our answer once look at the option here the answer is 26.25 option c is the right answer for this question here in this question what he is saying is he is not talking about 2009 he is talking about 2010 in 2010, the total value is changed to 3,000, uh, 3, sorry, 300,000, okay? That is the only change, but the pie chart information in terms of percentage, uh, that is same as that of 2009. Next question. Use the information in the previous question. In the previous question, what he has mentioned in 2010, total value becomes uh, 300,000 that is the only additional information which is provided and uh, 
coming to the charts, uh, chart one and chart two, both uh, percentages as well as uh, and their uh, countries, both are same. Now the question what he is asking is uh, find the percentage increase in total number of tu uh, tourists who went to USA, UK, Japan from 2009 to 2010. First, we will calculate 2009. In 2009, USA, UK, Japan, it means except others, except others, still how much percentage? Here it is uh, 40, 45, 85. 85 percentage, 85 percentage of 200,000. Two zeros, two zeros cancel. 85 two, sir. 170. This is the value in 2009. Whereas coming to 2010, again 85 percentage. There is no change in the value. 85 percentage. But two zeros, two zeros cancel. 85 three, sir. 85 three, sir. Value is how much? Uh, 240 plus 15, 255. In 2010, all together. USA, UK and uh, Japan all together the value is 255,000 whereas in 2009 the value 170,000. Now we need to calculate percentage increment. Percentage increment. Percentage increment is nothing but uh, difference between those two values. Uh, 2009 and 2010. Here left side is the left side calculation is about 2009. Right side calculation is about uh, 2010. Here difference between 2009 and 2010 divided by 2009 value. 2009 value. Why? Because uh, we are calculating percentage increment. Uh, so you are comparing 2010 value with 2009 value. That is the previous value. So into 100 per. Whenever you are calculating percentage into 100 percentage symbol, that is a common thing. Therefore, the required percentage increment is equal to, what is the difference? 255 minus 170 divided by 2009 value 170 into 100 percentage. And next percentage increment is equal to, here the difference between these two, 85 by 170 into 100. 85 2 times, 85 2 times, 170, and this is uh, 50. Therefore, the required percentage increment, that is 50 percentage. 50 percentage is the right answer for this question. Option D is the right answer. Option D. Next. See here, in the number of tourists uh, to UK who were less than 40 years old, in terms of thousands only, less than 40 years. Less than 40 years means you can take below 30 years and you can also take 30 years to less than 40. These two values you can consider. First of all, uh, uh, we should not take uh, 2010 value. 2010 is over up to the previous problem. Last two problems are related to 2010 but again this problem is belongs to 2009 only in 2009 total value 200,000 200,000 and then 5 percentage UK is 5 percentage UK is 5 percentage after that again uh, you want to take uh, less than 40 years less than 40 years in the sense uh, below 30 years plus and next uh, below uh, 32 less than 40 that also you can take uh, 18 percentage these are the two values that you need to take now here it is 200 into 5 by 100 into this one is uh, 43 43 by 100 so two zeros two zeros cancel and next, uh, 10, 10 cancel. 5, 2, sir, 10. 10 and 1, 0 cancel. 43 divided by 10. 43 divided by 10, which is nothing but uh, 4.3 thousand. 4.3 thousand. That is our answer. 
very simple 4.3 once look at the options option b is the right answer for this question option b last question in this session if total of three countries forms uh, the other category see total three countries total three countries in this uh, others category then number of tourist uh, from india to how many countries was more than uh, more than the average number of tourist uh, per country first of all you need to calculate uh, average number of uh, average number of tourist per country how can you calculate average value as we all know that average is equal to sum of observations sum of observations divided by number of observations number of observations therefore the required average is equal to total how many tourists are there 200000 i don't want to take the thousands uh, three zeros i'll just take 300 200 only divided by number of countries uh, number of observations is nothing but number of uh, countries uh, here usa uk and uh, japan these are the three countries along with that uh, in others category three other countries total six countries 200 by 6 200 by 6 which is equal to 100 by 3 100 by 3 is nothing but 33 1 by 3000 33 1 3 000 right so we need to count we need to count how many countries in how many countries number of tourists from india to how many countries were more than the average more than the average so first calculate all the values individually what is 5 percentage uk 5 percentage of 200000 10 percentage means 20 5 percentage means that is 10000 and uh, usa usa is uh, 45 into 2 that is 90 percent uh, 90000 USA 90000 Japan 35 percentage 35 into 2 that is uh, uh, 35 into 2 70 coming to others uh, category in others category 15 percentage 15 into 2 15 into 2 30000 all together others category 30000 here if you want to set the exact number of countries if you want to set the exact number of countries uh, here so many students are opting for cannot be determined but if you see the exact value if you see the exact value uk 10000 uk 10000 you can directly eliminate this one usa 90000 that is more than the average average is 33 1 by 3 000 so usa is more than average that you can count first one uh, usa is the one country which is more than average next japan japan is also more than average that is 70 000 that is 70 000 now in others category we don't know how many country uh, we do uh, we know the countries and uh, for those three countries uh, for those three countries what is the distribution even though if you don't know the distribution it is easy to set the answer why because uh, all together for all three countries together the value is uh, 30000 even though if you combined all three countries value that particular value is not more than the average so obviously you should not consider this others category why because the reason is uh, here in case for example if it is 40000 then there might be a chance of taking one is uh, more than 33 1 by 3 more than the average suppose one is 34 and one is 2 and one is 4 in this way you can distribute them there is a possibility but if it is 30000 if it is 
maximum you can afford is uh, less than 30,000 only. This 30,000 is uh, the less than the average value. So definitely you should not uh, uh, take this others category. In uh, Now the answer becomes only two countries which are having uh, more than the required average. Uh, that is uh, USA and Japan. Your answer becomes uh, option A. Number of countries, sir. Two countries have more than uh, average. Uh, uh, two uh, number of tourists uh, from India to how many countries were more than the average? Uh, more than the average per country. That is 33 1 by 3. That will happen for only two countries, U.S. and Japan. Option A is the right answer for this question, guys. I hope you understand each and every problem in this session. Thank you. Thanks for watching.